Tom Nichols was one of the officers in charge of the reptile investigation, which sought to identify Summer Ellswick's murderer. She had been stabbed so viciously that the object had become lodged in her body, and it was not a typical murder. Tom Nichols and his colleague Dan Cleary were examining all the evidence they had collected from the site, and they began speaking with everyone they thought might know something that would help them determine the most likely motivation for the murder. Tom frequently claimed that his career was the one thing he loved as much as his wife. Tom might have had his share of controversies in the past, but he was not a dishonest man. Yes, he had made certain compromises in his life, but that was not because he wanted to but he had felt coerced due to some reasons. So let's find out what kind of man Tom Nichols was, if he compromised on his ideals, and if he was able to find the murderer of Summer Ellswick. Why did Judy put wax on Tom's hand? Tom loved being a cop, and people probably cast aspersions on his integrity, but he was just a victim of the circumstances. He had not been able to speak up for the cause of justice earlier, and that phase of his life still haunts him. At the end of Reptile, we saw Judy dipping Tom's hand in what looked like wax, and then peeling off the layers to probably speed up the healing process. During World War I, many factors made use of paraffin wax for a lot of medical purposes, and Judy, too, used it for the same. The way that wax peeled off, it felt like Tom had not only healed his hands, but also cured himself internally. For months, he had been aching from within, and he was desperately looking for a way to redeem himself. After finding Summer's killer, it felt like the man had attained salvation, shed off his old skin like a snake, and was ready to start afresh with a clean slate. Tom needed to make up for what he had not been able to do back in the day, and so, when Alan and others believed that he would stay quiet, Tom went out all guns blazing. Oh, he committed an error of judgment by trusting Marty. But still, Tom was able to bring the truth to light, and it was because of him putting his life at risk that Will Grady was taken into custody by the police at the end of Reptile. How did Tom find the killer of Summer? The biggest surprise in Reptile occurs when Tom and Judy attend a party at Alan's place. Tom discovers the Chrysler Imperial that he knew the murderer had driven when he went to kill Summer. For a brief period, Tom was unsure of how to feel, because up until that point, he had never considered the possibility that Alan might also be involved in the plot. Tom made the connections and realized what Wally and Will were up to, and how his seniors were also profiting from their illegal business dealings. He realized that Wally used to plant drugs at the properties that Summer was sealing, and then Whitefish, the company run by Wally and Will, used to buy it at a much lesser amount, as compared to the market price. Then Will used to sell the same property and earn huge profits from it. Now Alan knew that. At times, Tom's righteousness could overpower him, and that is why he told him that things were not as he believed them to be. Alan knew that Tom would be putting his life at risk if he tried to report Wally and Will, and that is why he asked him to forget whatever he had seen and come to his house the next day at 9 a.m. to discuss things over. But Tom committed a blunder, and he ended up trusting one of the senior officials named Marty and he told him the entire thing. In addition to handing him the pendrive, Tom had also told Judy about her uncle Alan being involved in the entire drug and property scam, and she just couldn't believe that he was capable of doing such a thing. At the conclusion of Reptile, Tom and Marty went to Alan's residence. Alan gave Tom the go-ahead to leave the house and depart the area as soon as Marty went to the bathroom. Wally shot Alan dead in the head before Tom could comprehend anything, and it was only then that he understood Marty was also a part of the plot. Tom shot around at Wally, critically injuring him, then murdered Marty. After Tom phoned the police and explained everything, they arrested Will Grady. 